double lot. We built two houses here. And because the weather is finally warming up, although it's a little gross today, uh, it's time to do some landscaping. We've held off on putting our sod in because it's been freezing here and we don't want to put sod in where the roots don't have a chance to actually really root in. But now it's starting to warm up, beginning of April, and the sod is actually coming out nicer and green, whereas before it's a little barren. So it's looking good. But one of the things I want to show you today is before we actually put the sod down in this lot, what we noticed was that there was a little bit of water gathering in front of their garden area here. So I'll show you what we've done to kind of eliminate any standing water. We don't like to have any clay on our lots. We don't like to have any mushy spots on our lots. So here's what we're doing. You can see here, because this way this garden is set up, it kind of naturally catches the water and we've had puddles sitting in here. So we've now dug out a bit of a swale and put in a perforated pipe, covered it with gravel and run that right off to the back there and when this is all done they'll have a small path through their garden but they'll also have uh, you know lawn across the front you'll never notice that it's there but it'll be picked up all the water that comes down here will now be picked up by this pipe and run off to the back so we've got it all sloped down that way so it's uh, going to make sure that we've got a dry lot and even on the wettest day we like to have a place for our water to go rather than stand and turn into mud so uh, there you go I'll show you some more when it's finished, but it's looking great. <laughs>